Hey everyone, Olaf here, and today I'm going to show you how to make Venus in Blender. It's going to be fairly easy and quick. So I hope you enjoy, and let's get started. Now, you want to start off by switching to Cycles for better shading. So click Blender Render and switch to Cycles Render. And then you want to click X to delete a default cube. Then you want to go to Create and add a UV Sphere. And then click S to scale it and left click to confirm. Now open the settings and go into modifiers, add modifier and add subdivision modifier and pop up the view and render a few times and then click smooth to make the shading smoother. Now let's add some lighting to the sphere so we're gonna select the lamp with right click and then we're gonna grab it above the um, sphere. We can change the size Change the size to 1 and then click use nodes and then increase the strength to about 1000. Then you want to grab the lamp so click numpad 7 for the top view and then click G and then click shift set to only grab it on the X and Y axis. Okay so now we have the lamp above the sphere so we're gonna go into rendered mode and you can see how the lighting looks. So now we can start adding materials or the images for this sphere itself. Okay, so after you go into Node Editor, we're going to go into Materials and then click New Material. And now we're going to start adding some nodes. And the first one is called Image Texture, which is a texture where you can add images to the texture itself. And this is going to be the planet surface map. So you can just go into search to search for the uh, image texture and if you write in image texture like this you will find it and we're gonna have two of it because we're gonna have one pump map and one just with how it looks. So click shift D to duplicate and left click to confirm and we're gonna add two more nodes. Uh, the node we're going to add next is called a bump node which is going to be like the surface for the um, planets which means that uh, the bump map shows how tall parts of the planet is going to look like it's kind of like shading to make it look tall and realistic and the last node we're going to add is a node called uh, texture coordinates so search for texture coordinates and we're gonna grab this one there and use generated to vector for each of those um, image textures and then connect color to height and change the settings I'm changing here from flat to sphere so flat to sphere and then again color to color on the diffuse and then connect normal to normal between the bump node and the diffuse node. Okay, so now that we have the node set up, we're going to start adding images. But we actually need to download those images from the internet. And you will find links in the description to find these images. So I'm going to go to Safari. Let me see. And I have two links here. And as I said, links in the description. And we're going to download the TIFF file of Venus first. So right click, it's going to file and I'm going to save the image. So just find a place you want to save the image. And then I'm going to go into the bump map, the TIFF file again, and download the bump map for Venus. Okay, so now you have the two images and we can go back to the image textures and start adding the images. So just find a folder where you save the image and upload it to the image texture node. So I find it here. Okay, it's Venus TLF. I actually had some other Venus pictures from before, so I'm just going to make sure it's the correct one okay so I'm just gonna add this one 
which is the 24 megabyte file and open image and then add the bump map from the place you save the image so the total download folder and then bump map and open the image so this is going to control the height of the different parts of the planet okay so click open image okay so as you can see now we have a bump node with a bump picture and usually the uh, bump map when we use the full strength in the uh, bump node it's usually too strong so if you go down to 3d view and see how it looks and click um, into rendered mode and zoom in you can see that it's too powerful it doesn't look realistic because the bump map is too strong so we're going to go back to the node editor and we're going to decrease the strength to about 0.15 for now and just see how it looks so go back to 3d view and as you can see it looks a lot better now it's still kind of tall the uh, like the tall parts of the planet from the boom map so you can always go back into the node editor and maybe decrease it a little bit more so i'm gonna write 0.1 and see how it looks okay let's so go back to 3d view and I think it looks good for now so now it's time to start adding stars to our scene so I'm gonna go to world settings use nodes and go into node editor again so click node editor and then go to world settings in the node editor now we're gonna start adding the nodes we need to have stars in our scene so we're gonna start off by adding noise texture and just copy the values I put in here and basically what we're doing now is to make the nodes generate stars by using different kinds of textures so just copy the values and the next thing I'm gonna do is to add a color ramp so it's like this one and we have like two pins in this one and you're gonna select the black one first and input the value of 0.7 on the position and this is gonna be how many stars we end up having and then select the white one oops and make the position into 0.8 okay so now we're gonna connect the uh, noise texture and the color ramp together so just connect factor to factor like this and now we're going to add a bright contrast node so just write in bright contrasts and just copy the values i put in and i actually have a star tutorial where i explain everything so you can watch that if you want to understand more but for now I can just copy it doesn't really matter okay and then I'm gonna add a mix node search write in mix so mix RGB and this is gonna be the color of the stars and the color of the background so this background is gonna be black and the stars are gonna be white then just connect color to the factor and color to the background color like this okay so let's go back to 3d view and see how it looks okay and then I click shift set to go into rendered mode and now we see how it looks I think it's kind of too strong the bumps I click number zero to go into the camera and we're gonna go back to solid mode select the camera right click click G and then hold in the middle mouse button to zoom in click G again to grab and now select the uh, sphere and go back to the node editor as I said the bumps were too strong so I'm gonna go back to the material and make them weaker so click 0 0.05 to make the strength weaker or less back to rendered mode okay so now I think it looks nice so 
I think it's time to start rendering. So we're gonna go back to the camera settings and start setting up the render. So click the camera icon in the settings here. I'm just gonna go back to solid first so that it doesn't take as much power. Okay, so increase the quality to 100%. Go down to sampling and I'm gonna increase it to 300. And I'm just gonna go to the top again and click a render. Okay, so I'm gonna speed up the render and we're gonna see how it looks when it's done. So just fast forward, as you can see, I'm happy with the results. And I'm just gonna save the image. You can save the image whatever you want on the computer so that you have the final rendered image saved afterwards. So I'm just gonna give it a name. Finished. And enter. My next tutorial is gonna be about how to rotate planets and make a rotation animation. And I'm also gonna show you how to make the moon Europe in Blender. So that's coming soon. Thanks for watching.